That Albuquerque police lieutenant shot an undercover officer nine times. The head of the revamped Civilian Police Oversight Agency says that that lieutenant should be fired. The recommendation is part of a report that sheds light on what happened the day of the shooting. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhardt has the latest. Dean Jessica, the Civilian Police Oversight Agency, or CPOA, is independent from APD in the city. Its director's report says that APD lieutenant broke several protocols when he shot and nearly killed a fellow detective. It's been more than a year since an undercover drug sting left Albuquerque Police Detective Jacob Grant fighting for his life. Undercover narcotics work is probably some of the most dangerous work that we do in law enforcement. But a newly released report obtained by News 13 claims it was the detective's own lieutenant, Greg Brackle, who put him in danger that day. Grant says Brackle shot him nine times at point blank range. This is a very serious case. It's going to affect a lot of people, and I think we really need the time to do our due diligence. Last week, the Police Oversight Board asked for more time to review the case, but the head of the Oversight Agency has already completed his review. In it, Ed Harness details what went wrong that day. Specifically, it says Brackle did not attend a briefing on the bust, but heard about it taking place from another officer. The report states Brackle turned on his police radio and heard the two suspects described as black males. He then drove to the scene, pulled in directly in front of a fully briefed team member's vehicle, got out, pulled his gun, and shouted commands. The report says Brackle opened the car door, saw someone behind the driver's seat holding a gun, then yelled, gun, 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 and one second later started shooting. Detective Grant was the only one hit. The report points out a number of mistakes. Brackle should have known it's standard for the undercover officer to sit behind the driver, that Grant would be armed. Brackle's worked with him for more than two years, and Grant was the only white male in the car. The CPOA made several recommendations, including that APD fire Brackle. The CPOA also makes policy suggestions, which include prohibiting an officer who hasn't been briefed from participating in any operation unless officers request backup. APD tells us tonight they're waiting to receive official recommendation from the board. At that point, they'll review the findings and make a decision. Back to you. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. The Police Oversight Board is scheduled to discuss these recommendations at their March meeting.